The final thing to talk about is student confidentiality. When you go through Volunteer Tracker, there will be an agreement you sign about volunteer expectations. And we wanted to highlight just three pieces of it for you today. One is that by being in classrooms and in schools, you'll have access to knowledge of other students. You will know about students' behavior and their academic performance and their friendships. It is imperative that you do not discuss any of this knowledge with anyone with community members, with volunteers, with parents or family members or acquaintances or the Girl Scout troop or the soccer team. The knowledge that you gain from volunteering in the classroom about other students must stay with you. You also may not initiate contact with students or their families outside of the school setting. What this looks like is if you've been reading with a kid in the classroom and things are going well and you know, you want to continue that relationship and want to keep tutoring that kid outside of school, oftentimes it might seem like a good idea to contact the family and to set something up. You may not do this. Your relationship as a volunteer in the classroom needs to exist only in that space. If a family reaches out to you, that is a different situation, but you may not initiate contact. And finally, if you feel like a student's safety is at risk, then you must tell a teacher or a support staff member. You will be in situations where students will share things with you. That's part of the joy of being in their space. And if you feel like they are at risk, you need to share that with an adult. All of our school staff members are mandatory reporters and they will ensure the safety of our students.